Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Andrew's Attic. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a minute. I am so sorry, but I am back now in full effect. So today we're going to talk about, um, give you a little bit, little tidbit. So what am I going to call this? Tidbit Tuesday? Comment below and tell me what you think I should call this segment because the segment is... Okay, let me change it. Andrew Boo Boo. So, the segment is tidbits about early learning skills and child development. Oh, grandma just got here. Dad just got here. Cut. Yeah. I'm going to be talking about one-to-one -one correspondence and how it relates to early learning skills. So, one-to-one -one correspondence is a early learning math skill. It's the act of touching each object one time while counting as the as the child touches the object you need to touch the object one time within the set and count and correlate that one object with the number one one-to-one -one correspondence is highly different than rope counting rope counting is counting counting numerals in a sequential order just allowed so like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we always hear that with students um with children just wandering around the house probably counting but um, one to one correspondence is actually a higher skill for students to develop and they will start to develop that concept in preschool. But to get ahead of the game, we're going to show I'm going to show you how to utilize one to one correspondence in the development of speech delay. Andrew struggles with receptive speech, and that is um, placing or processing words in your head that's spoken to you and processing those words to be able to understand how to respond back. You can understand exactly what you're asking him. He just has some difficulty with actually telling you, hey, um, for example, what did you do today? He might say ball instead of I played with the ball or I played with blocks. So we have been working on that receptive speech. This is an activity that you can do with your child um, to support them with one-to-one -one correspondence, that early learning math skill, and as well as continuing using all of your teachable moments and opportunities to develop speech. Stay tuned. Yellow, red. All right. Yay. You did it. Okay. Are you giving it more blocks? Put that one on top of the blue block. Put it on top. Do you know how to put it on top? I'm just going to line it up. You did it. You're so excited. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue. Purple. Good work. So in summary, remember, growth is simply a mindset. Acknowledge that there's a problem early. That is step number one. If you have a feeling, a parent feeling that, hey, there's some development, so there's something that's a delay or something that's not quite right, odds are that you're right. You know your child best. So make sure you acknowledge that there's a problem early. Do your own research and trust your own instincts. It is okay to get second and third opinions. It is okay to get advice from other people, but the main thing is to ensure that you get support early. Early detection is key. Interventions would be the most effective by helping acknowledging that there's a problem early and getting your child the support that they need early. I hope this help video helps you. And until next time, uh, see you again at Andrew's Attic. Oh, lastly, be polite to somebody on purpose. It honestly takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Bye.